Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bupesh. Hope you are doing perfectly well. So this is in continuation with the previous sessions on Grafana alloy uh, monitoring. So what we are going to see today, uh, we have not seen how to get a distributed tracing using Grafana alloy. Uh, and today we're going to see that Grafana alloy tracing for uh, a spring boot application, a pet clinic application. So what we are going to do in this today's session, again, this is a very, very important session if you are using Grafana agent because that is getting uh, duplicated and you need to migrate all your applications uh, using Grafana alloy. So I'll do this session uh, pretty slowly so that you are able to follow it and then you are able to implement in your environment. So first of all, what we'll do, a quick recap what we've done so far in the same playlist, YouTube playlist, and I'll give you the description link in the description of this video. Uh, first of all, we understood uh, the installation of Gurfala alloy onto a virtual machine, Ubuntu box, and then we were able to send matrices from a node exporter so that I can monitor my infrastructure of that box and send those matrices to Gurfana or Gurfana cloud, right? Next, we saw the same thing, but onto a Kubernetes flavor. Now, why that is needed? Because you know people have a Kubernetes cluster for their application, so we need to do the same thing on uh, using Grafana alloy. Now, the third thing is we have to do logs also. So we uh, did log capturing using Grafana alloy onto a Ubuntu machine. That was the third session. The fourth session we did doing the same log setup using Grafana alloy, but no onto a Kubernetes cluster. This is again a very important session uh, where we see how to do relabeling and add static label. Last session was more importantly, get the Grafana alloy, uh, the pod level matrices of any namespace as well as the custom target. Now, what is a custom target? Suppose I have a node exporter or a Windows exporter or a process exporter running on my Kubernetes cluster, how I can ship that matrices from that you know, cluster to Grafana Cloud using Grafana Alloy, not by using Grafana Agent or something else. So this is again an important ask, you know, by multiple users. So this session was more about this. So what we're doing today, today is a very important thing, doing the distributed tracing, like getting the spans and traces uh, from that application, you know, this Spring Boot application, and we'll send to Grafana Cloud. So how to get Grafana Cloud account, you can simply go to my previous videos and get, get it created for you. So first, first of all, we'll install Grafana Alloy agent onto Ubuntu machine, and then we'll modify the configuration of uh, Grafana Alloy to send the traces to Grafana Cloud. We'll install the pet clinic application on this machine, and we'll you know export the exporter uh, OTLP exporter endpoint, and finally we will validate validate traces on uh, Grafana Cloud. So please do watch this session till the end because this is going to be a practical session. And uh, if you have not liked and subscribed the channel, please do that so that you can get tons of videos on Grafana, Grafana Alloy, Open Telemetry, Kubernetes, and so on. Right now, this is my uh, GitHub page which uh, have all this related information. I'll uh, you know give the URL into the description of this video. And this is my Grafana Cloud account which I created some time back. If you know, if you do not know how to create Grafana Cloud account, you can simply my uh, watch my previous videos into the same playlist now uh, let's get into the action and uh, you know some people have requested to go a bit slow in your video so i'm just trying to do that uh, let me know in my comment section if i'm going again very fast so grafana alloy agent is uh, something very high performance open telemetry based collector uh, which work to get all the open telemetry uh, the power of open telemetry and then replacing the uh, grafana you know, agent and it is it is already uh, the Grafana agent is deprecated. Let me show you that note so that it becomes crystal clear. Grafana agent. So if I click and go to Grafana agent, you will see this caution. Grafana alloy is a new name for our distribution of portal collector. Grafana agent has been deprecated as a long term to October 31, 2025, and Grafana agent will be end of life by November 2025. So better to why to wait till this day. Let's start exploring things using Grafana Alloy and then get all these things done. 
so that is pretty much let's quickly jump on to my implementation uh, so this was all about documentation of grafana alloy so how to install grafana alloy on non kubernetes based uh, machine so you need to follow these steps and then ultimately you know you will get grafana alloy installed on your machine so currently this is my ubuntu box i'll do a clear screen and i'll run sudo status alloy so the default alloy that has been running and it will create a config file at this location cd etc alloy so you need to run these commands and then alloy will start running it so let me restart my alloy and this alloy should be running okay it is running from now three seconds so i have done the vanilla installation now third step is so reload the alloy start status enable the alloy service so that it should run whenever you are restarting a machine and then it's how you stop the alloy and how you check the logs of this alloy service this is how you check the alloy and the logs of your alloy service perfect now you need to modify the configuration of grafana alloy okay so which should send the data or expose the data to a grpc and http port so this is my file so you need to copy the content of this file which is this one okay from this report to your environment which is at this location etc alloy where you have a um, alloy agent configuration file the one which you have just installed from above step right so uh, i have already restarted my alloy okay the configuration uh, let me just see the configuration for this so what i am doing this so this is again a very important aspects of understanding this there are only two comp two three components on this okay otlp receiver otlp uh, this is the binary uh, city you know component of that grafana alloy so i'm i'm creating a, uh, a label otlp receiver which will receive the data on these two endpoints grpc port 4317 and 4318 if you remember the open telemetry hotel collector this is something similar to that this is a receiver and then we have an exporter and then uh, we have a you know receiver exporter and then you know ultimately the uh, pipeline which will get the data okay so i am what i am saying i am exposing these two ports for applications to send data on these ports okay so this is the http endpoint of 4318 to send get the traces and this is the grpc port and then it will send the output to hotel call dot exporter and then otlp then grafana cloud so it will send all this data to here right to the grafana cloud and uh, i want to send this data directly to the tempo endpoint so this is my tempo endpoint how to get this tempo endpoint it is very easy you need to go to your uh, grafana subscription i'm talking about the grafana cloud if you don't have grafana cloud you can simply send this thing to your uh, local tempo instance also okay i'm just telling so you need to go to your uh, grafana instance okay then there will be a tempo icon click on details right and then uh, you need to copy paste this guy okay copy paste everything and then uh, you can so if it is if it is a local grafana then you need to give the endpoint of local grafana if not then simply uh, take this grafana cloud configuration right this is the auth and uh, auth is basic i need to provide the username and, and the password so i have given the xxx password but this is what you need to copy paste this content and then paste it in this location cat of config dot alloy now you see everything remains same i just pasted the password here okay that grafana uh, cloud password uh, that uh, you know the tag password so that is pretty much now you have uh, grafana alloy pasted let me restart my grafana alloy so that it should you know expose certain points uh, certain you know ports and then i'll just run the log so there are no potential error now these ports are really open 4318 and 4317 that will get the data uh, get get that will get the dc this is otlp endpoint 4318 and 4317 receiver endpoint so these endpoints are ready to for getting the data right now let me just the next step is install the application this is an important aspect now i'll install the uh, no, popular pet clinic application so i'll just do a git clone of this 
application uh, on my repository. I'm doing a git clone of pet clinic application onto my machine. So now pet clinic is there. This is the vanilla pet clinic application. I'm into that folder. Right. Now I will create a Maven package. I will skip all the tests so that it, it is faster. So if you don't have a Maven, you can install Maven. If you do not know how to install Maven onto your uh, Ubuntu machine, either you can search it from internet or you can uh, see my other videos where I have installed Maven. I'll post that link into the description section. So this is creating a jar file, which we will run it to trigger the Spring Boot application. Okay. So my jar file is getting ready. After that, what I will do, I will download the open telemetry uh, agent for auto instrumentation. Now, what is that open auto instrumentation? You can refer this URL. So what I'm saying, this jar will help us to capture the spans and traces. I'm talking about this, this jar file. Uh, and this we need to provide once we are starting the application uh, using that, you know, Maven package that is going to get generated. Okay, so this is success. So my Maven is in this target, I guess. Yeah, so this is the you know uh, the jar file that is being created with the help of that Maven. Perfect. Now I'll just do a I'll I'll download my open telemetry uh, Java agent or Java file. Perfect. So I'll do LSLTR. I can see this open telemetry. Java dot jar file is there. If you need more information how to get this, you can refer this documentation about open telemetry. Uh, you know, Java instrumentation, the, the 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 binary, right? Now I'm doing the same thing. I'm not doing any thing rocket science, which is there on the GitHub. Now this is an important step. You should not forget about it. Now you need to export your OTLP exporter OTL traces point to this port number 4318 which i have enabled using grafana alloy so grafana alloy is already looking at this port number and if you have a machine then you can simply replace the local host with that dns or with the ip right so yeah i'll just export it so whatever traces that are getting generated it will just now push to this endpoint perfect now I'll start the Java application. So there are a few things that you need to understand. What I'm saying that please start my Java application with this Java agent, which is this one in the same folder. And the service name is Pet Clinic. Okay. Pet Clinic. Suppose I give demo. Okay. And then my my jar file is in this location. So I think this is crystal clear. I'm using open telemetry agent for auto instrumentation and giving the pet clinic demo as a name and then taking the jar file within that that target directory perfect so i'll just run this now this should bring up your pet clinic application that should run on uh, port number 8080 see it is it is a spring boot application it is coming up slowly let's see what we have next so we need to once the application is up, we need to see whether the application is running fine on this port number 8080. So this is an important step to check. Okay. Let me see whether my pet clinic is up. Yeah. So it will give you certain messages like fail to export logs and fail to export matrices, which is okay, which is fine because we are not exporting metric and logs but in this session we are exporting only traces so this is how you will get your uh, spring boot application up i can click certain uh, you you know uh, icons i can click on the error also this will generate an error and this will send error to the log okay now i'll just uh, find owner i'll do some i'll edit certain things suppose i'll update the owner okay I can add new pat also. Mm, I can give some date, but I have been I've added this new part, and I'll click on home. So I've clicked on multiple uh, URLs, 
and uh, uh, this should send some traces to this you know endpoint 4318 and 4318 because it's an HTTP port. Now, what is the next step? So ideally, these traces should go to Grafana Cloud uh, on of this URL of which is my stack, the Grafana stack. So I'll go to my Grafana Cloud instance and then validate the traces from a Tempo data source. So this is my uh, uh, okay. Let me first of all show you how to get to your Grafana Cloud instance. So you need to come here. Okay, this is your stack Grafana Cloud. I can click launch also from here. So now this is my Grafana Cloud instance coming up. Right. I'll go and click on Explore. I'll select the Tempo data source. Okay. I'll click on search. I'll click on value. See, the pet clinic demo is coming nicely. And I'll do last one hour or 15 minutes. Then I'll click on hit. Then I can get all the, you know, traces uh, pertaining to the. If I click on one particular trace ID, this will be displayed all the things pertaining to the traces. Okay. I can get all the details. Right. Now let's do one more thing. Uh, get to the Floor again, third. Suppose I want to see the uh, particular span. Suppose select span. Okay, I can go do that particular filtration also. I can get all the select span. Now suppose I want to see only uh, status error. Okay, because I clicked on error also, so I can see I clicked only one. So I can get only uh, one trace ID for that. If I click that, and I can get a a complete span. So suppose if I click error again, so I've clicked on one more time error. So click see this trace is coming or not. So ideally now you should have two error instance, right? Status error, and then I should run it. Now you have to see the two errors have been. If I click multiple times error, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you should have multiple errors now. See you have multiple entries of error. So live we are sending the data from the pet clinic application uh, to the grafana law agent on port number 4318 which is a nodal based collector and then from there from there so this is a mediator so this is capturing and then it is sending to grafana cloud which is nothing but this so this is an important thing i want to explain and same thing can be done in kubernetes environment also simply you know create a config map and then pass this information. Uh, uh, so only thing which we need to pass it uh, is uh, this value, this you know, uh, environment variable into your Kubernetes thing. Just everything will remain same. So I'll take a pause. Uh, uh, I mean, you can digest this information. What we have done. First of all, we installed Grafana Alloy agent. I'm going very slow today because I've been asked to. Speak a bit slow. Install uh, Grafana Alloy Agent vanilla version, and then make it up and running, and then modify the configuration to send the data to Grafana Alloy. This is the configuration I have modified now. My Grafana Alloy is running, and it will send the data the moment it will get it right. And then I have installed Pet Clinic application. Simply clone that Pet Clinic thing. Created a Maven package. And then downloaded the open telemetry jar file, Java agent. If it is a .NET application, I can I should download the open telemetry a .NET jar file, and then export this environment variable, which will send all the traces of this application to this endpoint, and then start this application uh, with this open telemetry jar file. The service name is pet clinic demo, and the target jar is the jar file of your application. And finally, you check the traces on your uh, uh, Grafana Cloud and check the application. Do some uh, create some traffic, inject some traffic to the Grafana Cloud, and then see whether it's coming nicely or not. So that is pretty much. I'll just maybe uh, take a pause. Uh, if you have any kind of you know feedback, comment pertaining to the session, please uh, post it into the comment section. And I would say happy weekend, enjoy a weekend, and then uh, if you have any queries, do let me know. We'll catch you again maybe over the week next weekend. Thank you. Till then, thank you. Bye bye.